My name is Heng Ming Lai. My metric number is 10DEE21F2012. My class is DEE2A. My lecturer, my lecturer, Muhammad Jajali bin Ismail. Question 1. By using a suitable diagram, explain how an n-type semiconductor can be produced. The answer is to make the n-type semiconductor pentavalence impurities like, uh, like phosphorus or arsenic are added. Four of the impurities electrons form covalence bond with the with the surrounding silicon atoms. Since only four electrons are need to to form a covalence bond, leaving an extra extra electron becomes a free electron when each pentavalence atom is added. In n-type material electron are majority carry, carry and holds and holds the majority carrier. Question 2. Discuss the difference between a full well center type lactic file and a full well bridge lactic file. The, major, the number of diode need for a center type lactic file is 2, and the number of diode need for a bridge electrifier is 4. Discuss the difference between a full well center tap electrifier and a full well bridge electrifier. In center type electrifier, current only flow through a diode in a in one cycle but the current flow through the two diode for one cycle in bridge rectifiers with the same secondary voltage the output of center type rectifier is lower comparing the bridge rectifiers in center type rectifier, the peak inverse voltage is higher than bridge rectifier. As the table show below. Question number three. With the add of uh, diagrams, and output well form discuss the difference between the amplifier class A, B, and AB. Let's show the table below. Class A amplifier efficiency is very low. Q point is set at the middle then amplifier conduct through full 360 degree of the point the of the input class b amplifier the efficiency is 50 percent q point is at zero volt on the on the load line. Amplifier conduct only for 100 
80 degree and class B and, and class AB amplifier efficiency is 50% to 60%. Q point is above class B but below class A. Amplifier conduct between 180 degree and 360 degree of the AC, in, AC input signals. Below is a uh, diagram. Uh, the diagram as below, you can see the result. Question number four, scratches. I'm label the script, scriptmatic symbol for an E MOSFET and explain its operation. The E MOSFET can operate in only the enhancement mode. When an E MOSFET is zero bias. There is no channel between the source and drain material, rain materials. Deuce ID equal zero ampere. A positive VGS gate source voltage induced a channel in E MOSFET with a with a positive voltage on the gate. The P sub substrate became more conductive when a VGS assists the the trace hole the trace who voltage rating for the components. VTH a channel is formed. This allows the current to pass through the component E MOSFET is used primarily as a switching device that operate at cutoff. You can see the diagram below. Question number five. Explain the characteristic of the UJT. A UJT unique junction transistor is a three leak electronic sandy semiconductor device with only one junction. That that acts exclusively exclusively as an electrically controlled switch. Unlike a B, BJT, bipolar junction transistor having having three different terminal core emitter, base, and control collector. The UJT transistor has three terminal, which is one emitter and two piece. Let's show the picture below and diagram. Question number five, explain the characteristic of the UGT, the resistance between B1 and B2 is called interbase resistance. When the emitter is open circuit, the UJT is, bi is biased with a positive voltage between the two bases. Two bases. 
when it when it is triggered, the emitter current increase the generatively until it is limited by emitter power supply. You can see below the the diagram. So we learn the result. Thank you.